That's a good team. Uh, you know, a, a new coming into the game, they went to Georgia one. They went to George Washington one. So I, I knew they would come in here confident that they could that it could still win. Uh, I thought our guys did a nice job. We're making a lot of subtle mistakes. We didn't really, I guess, give Perry the respect he really deserves. And as a coach, we're telling him how good this kid is. But you know, until he, he gets out there, you don't know it. And, you know, he's getting 12 points at half, and everybody else has three or four or five. And we just didn't do a good job. And I thought our players did a much better job in the second half of, uh, of, of guarding him, making him work harder, kind of trying to fatigue him. And obviously the foul trouble helped us in that regards. And, uh, you know, I just thought our defense kept turning it up and turning it up. And, and we finally, um, you know, were able to get the stops we needed. And I thought we played much better in transition today. We got a lot of baskets in transition as well. Was it a case of the urgency or whatever finally kicking in when it needed to? Well, I think it was a little of that, and I think it was a little bit of me just putting the right combinations out there that, that really knew uh, what we wanted to do offensively and defensively and, and execute. Um, you know, we've we still got some guys that are learning. Uh, Moose is his first time out, and he was kind of antsy, and, you know, he wasn't really getting into the flow and letting the game come to him. Uh, and, and I thought, uh, you know, kind of Zach and, and uh, the big fella got out there, got some rebounds, just got to work on those footworks. But we, we just needed to kind of get a good group out there that knew what we were doing and, and execute, and, and we started doing that better in the second half. And Rudd had one of his best games, I thought, especially rebounding the ball, and he had a nice stretch offensively as well. And, you know, I thought Collins did a nice job when he needed to take over, kind of take over and really make some nice plays. So, um, you know, it was a good second half for us. Um, you know, hopefully uh, our guys are understanding that we can't take anybody lightly. There's some good basketball teams out here. Stan, you called a timeout, I want to say, right on the 17-minute mark, like before the first media timeout. Was that just a momentum timeout, just to slow things down? Or? Well, we came out of the gate, and they were beating us down the floor. And, I, and I'm thinking to myself, man, we must be out of shape. And, and that's all we talk about. Say, we're out of shape. I'm going to run the heck out of you guys so we get back in shape. That's my fault. And uh, it seemed like after that we got back in better shape. So I, I guess we didn't have to worry about that. Talk about the effort of Martino Brock. I mean, stat, that stuff kind of stuff doesn't show up on the score sheet, but I mean, there was a stretch of three possessions in a row. Actually, there might have been two on the same possession, but in the second half where he was dying for loose balls. Talk about what that does for your team. And, and yeah, he gave us great energy. And, and uh, you know, I'm asking him to kind of do what uh, Drew Robertson did last year is, you know, guard that other team's best player and, and just hawk him and wear him down and make it tough for him. And uh, I'm hoping he'll relish that role and at the same time be a, be a threat offensively. And uh, you know, I think his stats don't show it, but as you mentioned, some of those diving on the floors or uh, you know getting a deflection or a steal, those are huge plays, and um, uh, I was proud to see him do that. And uh, I thought um, you know that was a good boost for him to play those kind of minutes without you know Sean or Egg out there and, and really be effective for us out there on the court. What's the status of Sean? Even though he's a yeah. Sean is uh, <coughs> Sean has a, a stress fracture. He's got a foot injury and. We're going to reevaluate. He took X-rays, and um, we're going to reevaluate it after Christmas and see if it's improved, um, and and then kind of make some decisions for theirs. But he's he's going to be out till after Christmas, and then we'll have a better idea once we come back of you know how how much is healed up or or if it hasn't. Um, Javante's having back problems, and um, he has he's been practicing a little bit on and off, but practicing with it sometimes, and so uh, we're going to kind of hold him out and kind of see where he is health wise as well. Is there anything on Sean that, that happened, or just a degenerative no, you know, thing? Or? He, he was complaining about it, and uh, he would complain. He said, well, it's kind of bothered me like this before. And he kept playing on it, playing on it. And then after our Oklahoma State game, we got x-rays uh, just to check on it to see where it was, and, and that's when we found out what was going on. All things considered, with you know, you have not all your parts, like it seems like forever, but to have a, a, a comeback win like this, you know, two guys down, is that even more sweet to well, well, yeah. I mean, J Javante was. I think he's he's got a bright, bright future with us. But he wasn't playing significant minutes. It's more Sean as a guy. You know, I didn't know how that would affect us offensively because he he gives us that that super threat from the outside shooting the ball. Um, so I knew it would kind of change kind of the complexion of our team. I think you know this team out there right now is is a little bit more defensive minded, and the team with Sean had a little bit more balance on both ends of the court. But this team, you know, this team can score too. I, you know, Victor Rogers giving us some production. If if Wands can, we can get him more, a little bit more consistent in both halves. And if Musa can just settle down, I think Musa can give us uh, somewhat of what Sean gives us as well. He just needs to settle down, let the game come to him a little bit. Thanks, Coach.